I'm working on my hunter fan. This one's about oh, 15 or so years old and it had one of these uh, control boxes in it. The uh, 85112-02 and the motors work but I'm having some trouble with the lights. Um, the lights don't work consistently uh, when you uh, actually it's getting interference from other circuits so you turn in the turn on the lights in another room that puts a little pulse on this circuit and it and the lights go off for a few seconds so in any case I, I figure it's come to the end of its life and I'm trying to replace it but they don't make um, that, that they don't make that very easy uh, this module mounts in one of these in this cup that has the light package on it that actually comes mounts up here like so and it's it's got quite a bit of room in it but it's not huge uh, what I've purchased in its place is one of their one of hunters universal light and fan controls and I'm going to try to make this work now I can't uh, recommend that anybody try this so it's kind of an experiment if uh, anybody wants to try this on their own you know you got to check out the wiring on your own fan and the wiring colors and patterns and the motor windings and it can be a challenge but um, but like I said I'm going to try it so um, I've gone through this box and there's a, a six and a half a six and a five microfarad those are the big capacitors in the module. I can tell that the six and a half uh, appears to be wired between the white wire, the neutral, and the red wire for the motor winding. So I'm making a guess, and it's only an educated guess, uh, that that is the high speed main capacitor that caught, lets the motor run and that the other two are part of the speed control for lower speeds. Um, I've tried to track down on the circuit board and follow traces through the relays and so forth, but it's really hard to do. And I was not successful. I got kind of enough to get a general idea how it was working, but I haven't got it solid. So I know these two wires at the bottom go down to the lights. Uh, this um, nine pin connector um, takes the power coming in and the motor windings all come into there. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to clip these off and make connections to that motor. Um, the power's off, the breaker's off. I'm going to double check it with my voltmeter and make sure it's good um, in a couple of minutes. But for right now I'm, I'm going to try to pull these and uh, splice with wire nuts uh, into I have a capacitor uh, I wasn't able to get a single six and a half this one was a six and a half three pair so I'm only going to use half of it and I'm going to cap off the lead for the uh, opposite for the three and um, see if six and a half makes this one run correctly uh, if not I can adjust I've got a five I bought a couple extras so I've got a five and I could always use a three uh, if I if I needed to so that's my experiment and uh, here we go for my motor color codes are kind of funny and I don't know that all the motors are the same for mine the black the hot wire from the house or or the hot wire I'll say the hot wire from this module for the motor went to the yellow and the gray on the motor side of the connector they did change colors across the connector in a couple places. So, um, black went to yellow and gray, and the white went to the pink from the motor. It went to the the white went to the six and a half microfarad capacitor. The other side of the six and a half went to the red, and the red went to the motor. So, and that would give you high speed. Then the black from the lights goes to the um, wire from the module that's supposed to run the lights and then all the whites tie together and go back up. 
Well, I got it all back together, and uh, it probably took me 20 minutes of fiddling uh, to get everything to fit in in that cup right in that cup right there. Um, there isn't uh, when you put that when you put that new module in there, it sits across on an angle, and there's not any you know there's not a sixteenth of an inch to spare. I'll just put it that way. Uh, you need to lay that in on an angle. The capacitor tucks in next to it. The uh, wiring harnesses and all the wire nuts go in and on top of it. But to get the screws started was a real bear. I had to keep fiddling with it until I could get it pushed up and get the threads to uh, get the screws to finger start. The other choice would be to, I mean, the module's designed really to go in the in the canopy up at the top. But then you need to run, then you need to feed another wire or two down the center post. Um, probably just one, because you need to be able to, you've got a white and a black um, that would feed the lights, and then you need would need one more that would feed the motor, and everything else returns through white. So, uh, that would have been my cho other choice, would have been to see if I could get another wire down that center post post. I don't know how hard that is. That might be a bear. Um, but um, there actually is a fair amount of air space inside that cup. Um, it's just the uh, the length of that module is just the same size as the cup if you lay it in there on an angle. So, But uh, for my fan, the six and a half uh, microfarad cap seems like it's the right speed so I'm going to leave that alone and uh, I'm going to try this and again see how it works it seems like it works about right this one's nicer a uh, remote's nicer than the old remote because this one actually allows the lights to dim and has no problem handling the uh, handling the LED bulbs so which could have been part of my problem before there's low medium she's picking up that should be pretty good So now I can put the globe back on and job's done.